This animation shows the paths followed by a charged particle in different combinations of electric and magnetic fields. The initial velocity is along the x-axis and the magnetic field is in the z-direction. Force in the charged particle is in the direction of the cross product of velocity and magnetic field vectors and is along the negative y-axis at the initial moment. The plane of circular motion is a plane of right angles to the magnetic field which is along the z-axis and this is the xy plane in this case. Notice the red force vector always pointing towards the center on the negative y-axis. Magnetic field is now in the y direction. Force in the charged particle at the initial moment is in the z direction. Plane of the circular path is the xz plane. This is the plane perpendicular to the magnetic field. Magnetic field now has x and z components. Initial velocity is still along the x axis. Path is in a plane inclined to the xy plane. When velocity of the charged particle is perpendicular to the magnetic field, its path in the magnetic field is a circle. Plane of this circle is the plane at right angles to the magnetic field. Center of this circle is determined by knowing the cross product of velocity at a given position and uh, magnetic field vectors. This cross product is directed towards the center of the circle from the given position for a positively charged particle. Initial velocity is x and z components. Magnetic field is in the z direction. Because of the component of velocity parallel to the magnetic field, the charge particle has a motion component parallel to the z axis in addition to going around a circular path. This path is a helix with constant pitch. Projection of the path in the xz plane is a sine curve. Z component of velocity is constant and the distances travel parallel to the z-axis in each revolution are equal, resulting in a helix with constant pitch. Projection of the path in the xy plane is a circle. This would have been the path if the z component of the velocity of the charged particle were zero. Initial velocity is along the x-axis. The path would have been a circle in the xy plane due to the magnetic field in the z-direction. We now have an electric field along the z-axis. So the charged particle will have an accelerated motion parallel to the z-axis in addition to the circular motion. This path is a helix with increasing pitch due to the increasing velocity in the z-direction. You can see the increase in distances travel parallel to the z-axis in each revolution in the projection of the path in the xz plane. Projection of the path in the xy plane is a circle. This would have been the path if the electric field did not exist. So the motion along the z direction due to the electric field is getting superposed over the circular motion in the xy plane. Electric field is in the y direction and magnetic field is in the z direction. Initial velocity is zero. Magnitude of the velocity of the charged particle is changing due to the electric field and magnetic field exerts a force curving the path. This path is known as a cycloid. Notice the velocity vector being maximum when y coordinate is maximum. Every time the charged particle returns to the x-axis, its velocity is zero. Electric field is in the y direction and magnetic field is in the z direction. Initial velocity is along the y-axis. Path is still a cycloid. Particle crosses the x-axis this time with a velocity equal in magnitude to the initial velocity. Electric field is conservative and since it is directed along the y-axis, magnitude of velocity is same when y-coordinate is same. Force due to the magnetic field being always at right angles to the velocity changes only the direction of velocity without affecting its magnitude.